Hey now everyone, Vegetable here. Welcome back to Bloodborne. This is going to be episode 10 of the Burial Blade series. Um, I am right back here at the boss, well, right outside the boss door for the Witch of Hemwick. Um, I did go back to the Hunter's Dream. I did uh, level up a little bit and level up the weapon a little bit. So it's now a plus six and it has a gem in each slot. There, None of them are very strong gems, but they're better than nothing. So yeah, should be doing a little more damage there. Um, yeah, so I did change my microphone setup once again, just to see how this is going to turn out. Um, hopefully this is going to be a slight improvement. I don't know. I don't know. You tell me. Okay, uh, enough about that. Let's get on to the Witch of Hemwick here. Um, it's not too tough of a boss. The toughest part is it'll summon mad ones, these guys. And they can be a bit of a challenge. Where are you? They're here somewhere. Um, oh, there you are. They will also... Okay. In addition to that, they will... Good lord, how many shots is it going to take? <laughs> they will blast you with a magic attack. Ah, oh, there you are. That will hold you in position. Very much like the, uh, well, not just very much, but pretty much identical to The brain suckers. Which, needless to say, is bad. Because then you're kind of stuck. Okay, so they are but or are they both here? Alright. I need to go get on Oh there they are both here. That was my problem. Where'd you go? There you are. Ah. Okay, let's see if I can avoid these guys just long enough. Oh my god. Well, the idea was to not get that many of them at once. Okay. There's one. I can just get the other one. Oh, there you are. There we go. Okay. That'll do it. Well, it wasn't pretty. And I know I got pretty distracted during all that, but, um, hey. <laughs> Mission accomplished, right? Um, lower insight in that fight is actually a good thing. Um, I didn't take that into account, but nonetheless, here we are. Time to get the Carol Rune tool. That is right down here. And there we go. So now I can start using Carol runes and I can level up again. 
Very good. Okay. Let's go ahead and do that. So now that that's done, um, I'll be able to equip Carol runes. Um, that will help out a whole lot. Um, and I can go ahead and finish up the Cathedral Ward and take on Vicar Amelia, I think. Okay, let's see. That, that, and that. There we go. Okay, more bullets, less damage, slightly, and more blood echoes. Let's see. Let's go. Welcome home, good Level hunter. up here. What is it? Very well. Let me. Yes, yes, yes. Almost. Almost to 30. I'll get that to 30 and then I'll focus on skill and arcane some more. Still, that's pretty good. That's pretty good. 1,066 hit points. It's not bad. Should be Farewell, should be enough. Good hunter. May you find your worth in the waking world. Yes, thank you. Alrighty, let's go ahead. Let's see, there's a couple things I could actually clean up really fast. But I'll do that off camera. Let's go ahead and finish up the cathedral ward here. At least the sections that I haven't done yet. Which isn't much. It's really not much. I've pretty much done the vast majority of it. But there's a couple things that will be gone, I think, if I progress into night. So I want to make sure I don't do that. Oh. I know something else I need to do. It just occurred to me. Okay, okay. This is perfect. This is perfect. Where are you, Eileen? There you are. Oh, hello there. Perfect timing. I must warn you not to go near the tomb below Erden Chapel in the Cathedral Ward. Henrik, an old hunter, has gone mad. And he's my mark. Hmm. He's your mark, eh? All right. Don't go near the tomb below Erden Chapel in the Cathedral Ward. I have business there first. <laughs> well, you know that means I have to, Eileen. Don't go near the tomb below Erden. I have business. Okay. Gotcha. All right. Yes, giggle, giggle. You know that means I have to do it. So then, let me see. Do I have to go back? Let me go ahead and go back to Hunter's Dream really fast just to reload the area and make sure I don't mess this up. I'll see you back here in just a sec. Okay, so that should take care of any issues that may come about with not reloading the area. Um, now that that's taken care of, I'll head on down to exactly where Eileen told me not to go. I've got to be careful with this, because not only is Henrik tough, but Eileen will join in, and I can't aggro her. I've got to make sure I don't do that. So, yeah, this is going to be tricky. There he is.
Oh no. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> oh, there she is. do it okay nice that's about as smooth as it could have gone to be honest with you I'll take that where are you going Eileen we need to speak huh <laughs> this is interesting where are you going okay let's have words That wasn't necessary of you, but you have my thanks. We made it with our lives. You're not bad at all. You must have killed Gascoigne as well, then. Aye. He was falling apart, I'm sure it had to be done. It did. But try to keep your hands clean. A hunter should hunt beasts. Leave the hunting of hunters to me. <laughs> I'm glad you approve. Leave the hunting of hunters to me. Try to keep your hands clean. Leave the hunting of hunters to me. <laughs> you got it. I think Try that's it. Keep, the yeah, that's it. <laughs> <laughs> All right, sweet. Cool. Well, that is perfect. Um, because there we got a um, boss fight in. And we took out Henrik. As a matter of fact, I think I'll stick around here in the Cathedral Ward and take care of a couple of those other items that I mentioned before. And for now, we'll just go ahead and say goodbye. Um... Let's see if I can remember how to do gestures in this game. <laughs> yeah, there we go. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you have a great day out there. Um, I will see you in the next video where I'll go ahead and finish up Cathedral Ward. There's only a couple things left. And take on Vicar Amelia. Um, so, yeah. Thanks again. I hope you are having a great day out there, and I will see you in the next video. Veg out.